Spanish Lake woman is still missing and her family is desperately trying to find her. As a result, they were scammed and lost their life savings and possibly their home. Fox 2's Shandrea Thomas caught up with the family of Phoenix Calden and has the latest details on the case. The family of 23-year-old Phoenix Colton has spent the last five months putting up missing persons posters just like this one with the hopes of bringing Phoenix back home. Goldia Colton continues to hold out hope in the search for her daughter Phoenix. It was December 18, 2011 when the 23-year-old UMSL student went missing. Her 1998 Chevy Blazer found in East St. Louis with the engine running. Her glasses, purse, driver's license and shoes found inside. Phoenix's phone and bank activity were stopped. One tip from Texas ended up costing them their life savings, their health, and now their home. They called in a tip saying that they thought that maybe their relative might have our daughter with him. According to the family's private investigator, a man claiming to be Phoenix's father created a fake Facebook page using her picture. The unnamed man also said he knew where the 23-year-old was. The family invested money in pursuit of what appeared to be a good lead, but it turned out to be a lie. A scary thing because we thought that he, he might have Phoenix with him because the, the person that he was presenting as his quote unquote long lost daughter uh, was a picture of Phoenix. The family continues to work with the Black and Missing Foundation and others in the search. They've also started a fund to help find Phoenix. Goldia said they can use all the help they can get. We, we want to be able to have a home and this is not a home without Phoenix. Chandrea Thomas, Fox 2 News. The family has set up a Facebook page to get new information. We have a link to that page on our website, fox2now.com. A St. Louis County couple continues to search for their daughter who disappeared two years ago today. Phoenix Calden was 23 at the time and a junior studying at UMSL. She left home on a Sunday afternoon. Her black Chevy Blazer was found two and a half hours later on a vacant lot in East St. Louis. The engine was running and her purse was inside. Today, her father and a family friend came to 9th Street in St. Clair to offer prayers for her safe return. My plea is that if anyone who has Phoenix, would they please let her come home? Just let her come home and be done with it. That is my plea today. We've got a lady's, young lady's life who's, who's at stake and uh, she still has a chance to have that restored. And so if you do the right thing, God respects that, people respect it. Anyone with information about Phoenix Colden is asked to contact the St. Louis County Police or Crime Stoppers. There is a reward of up to $1,000. All right, this is staggering. Have any idea how many kids are missing in the St. Louis area right now? Hundreds, according to our Fox Files investigation. And we have Chris Hayes joining us now with those astounding numbers. And Chris, when you think hundreds, you're like, well, why don't we know about these missing cases? That's part of what is so unbelievable mm -hmm. about this story. We couldn't quite grasp it when we first started running missing kids from the Missouri Highway Patrol database. More than 200 missing teens from the St. Louis area since the year 2000. Many are names you've never heard of, but even those that you have heard seem to have disappeared into the background. Like Phoenix Colden, an UMSL student who disappeared December 2011. Her dad, Lawrence Colden, believes she is alive, and he was floored when he learned how many other families were living the same mystery. Across this country, 80,000 people that's come up missing. Uh, where are these people going? It is uh, a terrible, crying, deplorable shame that so many people can come up missing in this country with a country with the type of resources that we have. In the Fox Files, I'll tell you that one small North County community that's seen 33 young people disappear since 2000. You'll hear yeah. from police about what they think is going on and what you can do about it. That's tonight at 10. And these kids have families in anguish, you know, wondering what has happened to our kids. Yeah, and you the know? fact that, that one case steps in front of another and then we forget about these other names. And yeah. then you look at it and you go, oh yeah, I remember that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just to have that resolution, one way or the other. Are they alive or are they dead? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. All right, tonight at 10. Yes. Okay, thank you.
Phoenix was kind-hearted. She's young, she's black, she's beautiful, with a bright future ahead. I saw her back out of the driveway, and she never returned. I never knew there were so many tears in my body. The news media wouldn't give us the time of day. They missed that crucial first 48 hours. If Phoenix had looked like Natalie Holloway, though, we would not have had this problem. There's never been a body found. What happened the last month of her life? It's like somebody coming to get me. I'm like, who coming to get you? Maybe her life ended that day. From an investigator standpoint, it doesn't look good. Who's ever calling? She doesn't want her parents to know. Talk about secrets. Well, if we do find her, what are we going to find? I looked up, and that's when I saw Phoenix. Someone knows where she is and what happened to her.